Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Red Dead Redemption 2. And in this one, it's going to be a really quick one, but I want to show you guys where to get and how to get the best wild horse in the game. There is a horse that you can find out in the wild, an Arabian horse with a white coat. And if you get this one and you tame it, it is a little bit challenging, but if you tame it, it is one of the best horses you can possibly get. So, if you guys do enjoy this, if you find it helpful, then like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. Of course, if you guys haven't entered our Spider-Man PS4 Pro giveaway, don't forget to click that link in the description box down below. And don't forget, if you don't want to miss any of our future uploads, then you can turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. Now, to begin with, in order to get this, what you want to do is you want to head up to the top left-hand corner of the map, the northwest area, you will find Lake Isabella, and this is where you want to put your waypoints. If you head all the way up to here, this is where you're going to find the horse. Now, bear in mind, it is a snowy area, and the horse has a white coat, so it can be a little bit challenging to find, but this is what you're looking for. You might have to kind of wander a little bit around the lake, but this general vicinity is where you will find it. It's a fixed spawn, it will be here, and this is definitely a horse you're going to want to get. Now, being a wild horse, it is also something you're going to have to tame, and some horses are easier to tame, some are harder, and given how good this one is, it is a little bit challenging. But if you guys want a few tips, essentially what you want to do is when you find the horse, you want to hold down L2 so you can focus on the horse as you approach. You want to make sure you're walking really slowly, don't make any sudden movements, don't run towards it, anything like that. Walk very slowly towards it, and if you pay attention to the bar in the bottom right hand corner, any time that bar begins to deplete, you can quickly tap square to calm the horse down. And again, any time that it starts to get agitated, just slow down, stop moving, let it calm down again before you begin your next approach. Continue to walk forward and continue repeating this process, calming it down as you go. And then once you get close enough, you can of course pat it, and you can then press triangle to mount it. Nice and easy. Easy now. Okay. <laughs> Once you've mounted the horse, you then need to tackle with it a little bit and sort of make sure that you don't get bucked off. So the way you go about doing this is you hold the left analog stick downwards to begin with, and you then essentially want to hold it in the direction that is opposite to where it's moving. So as an example, if the horse is trying to go left, then you want to hold right. If it's trying to go forward, you want to hold back, etc. And you basically repeat this, and then the game will then notify you once the horse has been broken in. And at that point, you can then go and put your saddle on it. So take it over to your previous horse, jump off, take the saddle off your horse, put it on this new one, and this horse is now yours. And this, my friends, is one of the best horses in the game. The Arabian breed seems to be one of the best breeds you can get. There are two additional horses. There's a Black Arabian and a Rose Arabian. Those two come from story progression. And in the interest of avoiding spoilers, I'm going to skip over those ones. But simply, if you play through the game and you get to various points, you will have the opportunities to purchase those horses. They are pretty expensive, but they are also incredibly good. But this one on the stats front, as you can see here, it has a health and stamina rating of five and speed and acceleration ratings of six. Now the other two Arabian horses, the black and the rose gray ones, they have the exact same speed rating, the exact same acceleration rating. The only difference is they have a little bit more health and stamina, but again, those ones are ones you can purchase, whereas this is a wild horse. You can get this no matter what progression you have, provided you've got to the point where you can free roam around the map, provided right? you've got to the point where you can just start exploring, you can head to this location and you can grab this yourself. So if you get it early on in the game, this is of course gonna be a great asset to you as you play through. So, there you have it. Super quick guide on how to get one of the best possible horses in the game. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Be sure to keep it locked for plenty more from Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.